everyone, today I'm going to share a tutorial with you on how to make this flower for right here in the back. Um, I think that is something fairly easy to do, it's very fun, girly, romantic, and it's very good for decoration in your home, anywhere, um, like in a living room or bedroom, whatever. Um, so if you want to learn how to make a flower for it, watch on! So first thing you need to get is a board and of course a bunch of silk fake flowers. With these flowers, what you're going to do is to take the flowers off from the stems. So here I have flower and I'm just going to take it off like this and do that for all your flowers. So before you glue the flower onto the board, you definitely want to kind of test out how it will look like. So I would take out all the flower with the same color and start putting it onto the board kind of randomly across the board so they're not together. I do it according by sizes and colors. So first I put all the large flowers according to the colors and then medium size and then the smaller sizes. After we put all the flowers in place, we want to start gluing on. And before we glue it, we want to cut the little small stem that's sticking out. You want to cut it as close as possible but not too close because if you do, the flower might actually come apart. Here I have the leaves that I'm going to go put it together with the flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off all the stems that's sticking out of the leaves as well. Put it together like this. And then I'm going to glue it together by gluing the leaves first. And then the flower. Here's a closer look of how close you should cut the stem off the flower. As you can see, there's still a little bit left. For flowers that are not so open in shape, you definitely want to add some leaves underneath so you can cover up the board better. Here I'm going to put the leaf in first and then glue on the flower. Okay, so far we have glued on all the flowers. It's looking very pretty. It looks like we're just about to be done. I want to add some finishing touches with the leftover leaves that I didn't use. So here I have some leaves. And I can either fold it like this and put on the corners that um, are still having white sticking out. Or I can actually cut them into three different pieces and stick them wherever I feel that is needed. After we're on all the finishing touches, I have a string here that can go on um, the back of the board so we can hang it up. So I'm kind of just roughly measure here how long I want the string to be. It doesn't have to be precise because it's really just going to be on the back of your board. So now we're going to flip the board over and then I'm going to glue it on with just adding a whole bunch of hot glue. And then I'm going to lay it to rest a little bit so it dries. And there we have it, a very beautiful flower board for your home. If this is not enough for you, you can definitely just make more. So that's it. I hope that was fairly easy for you to follow. Um, please leave me a question down below or anything you want to tell me. Like this video for more tutorials and subscribe and have you and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I trim, cut, and layer my hair. So here I have my hair here super long and haven't trimmed or cut it in a very long time. And uh, what I have 